So I eventually got to the point where I had to like hire a photographer to take pictures of me painting. So I had some good pictures <laughs> of me painting. <clears throat> you know, we rely on our friends and you know, you try and do selfies and it works pretty good, but it was a huge step to like pay somebody to come in and, and take pictures while I'm painting. So I did that. And, and then the problem became, well, I, I don't want it to look, I don't want to stage this thing, right? You know, so um, I, I, I thought, well, I'm going to, I'm just going to paint. And that, and that was my instructions. Uh, she came in and I said, look, I, I'll be too self-conscious. I don't want to pose. I don't like those pictures. I'm just going to pretend you're not here. And I wanted to be doing something kind of dynamic and something cool. You know, I didn't want to work on a small thing. So I, I started with a really, um, like a five foot painting, but I had this really big canvas in the corner that I hadn't started and it's an eight foot painting. And I thought, well, I will do this thing. I'll just work on this. Plus it's, it hasn't even been started. So it's not, it doesn't matter if I mess it up and I can kind of pretend to paint maybe, or, or, you know, just, I, w I felt free on that thing. And I thought, well, that'll make the best pictures. Plus my, I'll be painting these big shapes and it'll look really cool. So I did that and, um, you know, and painting's pretty seductive and it was, didn't take long. I mean, I had a lot of energy, you know, I was really going for it. Like someone's watching. I, I really want to make some powerful marks and, and it just, I got really into this painting and she's running around taking pictures and I kind of not even paying attention, which was perfect. I didn't even want to be thinking about her. And, uh, and I made this painting, this eight foot painting. I, I was my first pass on it. And I was, you know, I had buckets of paint. I was squeegeeing on it. It was really fun. And, um, and, and then the photo thing was over and whatever, she left. It was like two, about two hour photo shoot. And, um, but I ended up with this, this eight foot painting that was kind of just like the thing I did while she was here. And what was amazing is when I shared it later, because I share a lot of my work, whether it's done or not, I just, I don't have time. I, you just, I just put it on Instagram and people, it actually like held up this thing that I had made with, with, with just somebody in the background that sort of was like, you know, getting me to loosen up and not care so much um, and have no plan, just experience this thing. It made, it made a pretty good painting and, and I don't think it's done, but it's pretty darn close. So um, it kind of blew me away. And, and this is all about uh, sort of letting go of the reins a little. Like if we can do that, like not trying so hard. <laughs> and I wasn't trying so hard because I was, it was more performance-like. It was more just for the joy of doing this thing and ha making big marks and expression and just having fun. Um, I had no intention for this work. Um, I, I didn't have to make anything. The, the product was the photographs. And, but I learned a lot. Like I learned, like I need to paint like that more often. I need to be more like that. And, and this, is, this is, I think, what art making can teach us. Like there's a huge amount of uncertainty in art making. We don't know if we're really showing up um, what it's going to be like at the end, you know, we don't know if, if it's going to turn into a cool thing. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it's completely different. And that generally, I mean, it does, it creates a, a degree of stress for, for everybody. We like to know <laughs> in our life, that the bus is going to show up, that the cars going south are going to stay in their lanes and the cars going north are going to stay in their lanes. There's a certainty to it. We know ahead of time what's going to happen. And that's really great. But in art, there's this built-in uncertainty. And, and I guess what I'm talking about today and the reason I'm talking about it is today is that like we want to get good at that. We want, this is the area of our life where we can embrace that. Because when we do that, all kinds of magical things can start happening. All kinds of paintings can almost make themselves. Um, you say brilliant things when you're just talking to your friends at the bar, right? You know, it's like there's something about this not caring, about not trying so hard that creates 
pretty amazing, uh, maybe not complete things, but parts of amazing things, glimpses of brilliance, um, parts of paintings that are incredible. And I just think that this is, this iteration, this process of, of, of art is, is really what it's about. That's, we're, we're learning this in, in our practice. Art making is the practice of, of feeling more into who we are. And when we are not trying, when we don't have a preconceived notion, we show up more as ourself. And I think there's something to this. And I think that's, there's, there's a way to really powerful work that is, that is made more easily. You know, what if we could make our work easier and more powerfully at the same time? What if it just felt more natural? Anyway, I just think it's a cool idea and I, I'm just throwing it out. It might make you think of something, <laughs> you know, it, it might, it might like let, let you go a little looser in the studio today. I hope so. Let me know in the comments um, how, if you think about this, how this shows up in your work, how, how you let go and what happens when you do. I, I'd love to um, hear about that. This coming Wednesday, I've got a really cool conversation coming up with amazing New York painter, uh, Gary Comerin. Uh, he's, he's phenomenal, uh, internationally <laughs> uh, respected, giantly collected all over the world. I've been tracking his work forever, and I'm just super honored that I was able to have a conversation with him. But he, he talks about unintentionality. It's like what he's doing. <laughs> like that's, he's leveraging this and that's how he's found where he's going. And he still doesn't know where he's going. And there's this incredible, dizzying, amazing trail of artwork behind him that I can't wait to uh, dive into with you. And that's coming out on Wednesday. So, um, you can click below and, and sign up for that. We got a, a few podcast episodes that are there right now waiting for you to check out all kinds of stuff. We got images, links to really cool stuff. It's just really building in momentum. And I so, so appreciate all the feedback and comments. I'm trying to get the comment feature hooked up um, so we can converse there about these subjects as we're kind of each week, there's kind of a theme that's evolving, you know? Um, and, it, and it's kind of great to just spend a little more time on these ideas um, because I think the learning is more is deeper and, and is more beneficial for, for myself, certainly, and I, and I hope for you too. Listen, um, thanks for being here. Oh, and, and by the way, we do have a, this amazing free Facebook artist group. Um, it's available for anyone. There's awesome work being done there. So if you're interested, um, there's a link down below. Click on that and come on in. We've got a cool challenge coming up. Um, that we're going to be doing in there, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to break that secret, but that's coming up. So it's a be good time to come into that group. All right, you guys have an awesome Sunday. Thanks for being here. Hey everyone. If you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the art to life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.